Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. So I got a comment on one of my videos the other day saying that uh, with one of the recent Chrome OS uh, Flex updates, and I think it might have been up for uh, the update to 113 on the dev channel, <clears throat> that their um, taskbar and their app tray is blue now instead of just white. And I didn't even notice this, but like, as you can see, it's tinted at the bottom. I thought it was always just kind of a translucent color and uh, it takes the color of whatever's behind it. So I put a window like right in front of the uh, the app launcher there and I hit it. And as you can see, it's still kind of blue, even with a totally white background. So it's obviously not just a transparency thing. It does kind of uh, assume the color of your desktop wallpaper. But uh, so I just found out it's uh, soon going to be going way beyond that. I did a video the other day about the um, the quick settings revamp flag, which when you click on your quick settings, it makes it uh, look like this. It kind of gives it the Android material design, but it looks like there's a whole lot more material design coming to Chrome OS Flex than I even thought. And I found out about this when I started doing research to see what was up with the um, the blue tint to the, uh, the taskbar and the app launcher. So there's a couple more flags here that I wasn't aware of, but I'm going to show you guys now. So we go to Chrome Flags, <clears throat> and these are called Jelly Colors, Jelly Design for Personalization App, Jelly Design for Out of the Box Experience. Just open your flag, search for Jelly, and if you haven't seen the other video, if you want the uh, the Quick Settings Material Design, it's uh, just called Quick Settings Revamp. And uh, well, let me just show you what that does. Now we open our Files app, and there's wallpaper color everywhere. Um, as you can see, and this is kind of the same design language that's showing up in Gmail and a lot of other Google things. But so now you kind of have the uh, the blue tint here and then a darker tint on the title bar of the windows. When you right click on your desktop now and go to the uh, wallpaper and style, this thing looks way different. Um, I don't know what this stuff is. This kind of looks like maybe placeholder stuff. In fact, it looks like there's some missing strings there. And if you see, if we come in here and we change our wallpaper, let's just go to the solid colors. Change it, it kind of changes the theme of everything to uh, whatever your wallpaper color is. And you go into your quick settings, it does the same thing there. It makes the title bars on the regular windows uh, the green color, which it frankly looks kind of bad. But maybe it'll look better eventually if they uh, update this theme to everything in the system, which I assume is what's coming uh, before too long. Let's see what settings looks like now. So it doesn't look like it's been revamped either. The The only one I really saw was files. I'm sure there's something else somewhere, but um, the files is the one that has the uh, the biggest interface change here. I don't know. Do I like this? Eh. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's not the worst. I actually, it might even look better if the the title bar here was just the same color as all this. But I, I mean, it's fine. But I'm guessing just over the next few updates, we're going to be giving everything this kind of style throughout Chrome OS. But yeah, on Windows for applications that uh that don't have that design refresh, this does kind of look jarring at the moment, which is probably why it's not a default right now. But yeah, if you go into your flags, just search for Jelly if you want to enable all this stuff. And maybe you like it, maybe you won't. And and I think that's the reason for the uh, the launcher and the taskbar here to be kind of taking the color of the wallpaper also. I mean, honestly, I, I kind of thought it always did that. But someone pointed out in the comments that um, it was a new thing, so maybe it was. I don't know. But this stuff's definitely new. So if you like it, Good for you. If you don't, good for you too. I assume within a few months here, it'll be the default, whether you like it or not. So that's just something to look forward to. And I hope you look forward to the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.